Things are looking grim for the culprit behind those massive piles of unsellable toys at Ollie's. The following is a world class bullshitters exclusive. You love our Ollie's videos. I see the numbers. It's the series that's uniquely world class. There's nothing like walking into a store and finding a stack of unsellable action figures stacked taller than I am. Now, to some, six foot five inches of toys may not be a big deal, but when it's the same toy over and over and over again, you start to notice a pattern. As you can see, the footage shows an overcrowded wasteland of overproduced crap that sits on shelves for literal years. Kids don't want it, collectors don't want it, Ollie's doesn't want it. It's safe to assume that no one wants any of these toys, but what if I told you there was something the people behind the scenes want? No, it's not Riva or an America Chavez action figure. No, the people behind the scenes want one thing, answers. And to get them, they're suing Hasbro. Yes, you heard that correct, folks. This is going to be interesting. But before we tell you all about that lawsuit and our history and more, today's video is brought to you by me, Jeff Hicks, and my graphic novel, Stealing Solo. Folks, if you need something guaranteed for Christmas delivery, go to StealingSolo.com right now. And for Black Friday, we'll have tits and art available on the website as well. Stealing Solo asks the greatest what-if question of all time. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That, and a whole lot more, is answered in Stealing Solo, a captain's parody. Stealing Solo has been called Laugh Out Loud Funny and the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs, and it's available now for a limited time only. Go to StealingSolo.com, which is powered by Shopify, so you get the reward-winning safety and security, and get yourselves a copy today. Once we sell through this limited back stock, I'm going back to the drawing board to bring you the sequel, which parodies Luke Skywalker's Fall from Grace, and finally the closing chapter, which I can't wait to get to, Frankenfisher, The Bride of Solo. And yes, it's exactly what you think it is. So folks, the only way to get that is go to StealingSolo.com right now, get yourselves a copy, and enjoy the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs. A self-described investor rights law firm filed a lawsuit Wednesday alleging that Hasbro, the toy company, misrepresented its excessive inventory to investors, something the firm says is a violation of the federal securities laws. Bernstein, Litowitz, Berger, and Grossman filed a complaint in a New York court on behalf of the West Palm Beach Firefighters Pension Fund asking the court to grant the case class action status, meaning other investors and stock purchasers can participate. Hasbro, like other companies, saw a boost in interest in sales during the pandemic when people were looking for things to do in their home. The lawsuit alleges that Hasbro purchased inventory to meet that demand, but ended up buying too much. Hasbro allegedly told investors the high purchasing was necessary to mitigate supply chain risks and meet customer demand ahead of the 2022 holiday season, according to the lawsuit. When the inventory sat, Hasbro said the stock reflected outstanding and anticipated demand, and not a decreased demand. The lawsuit alleges Hasbro was intentionally misleading investors and knew it overpurchased inventory to an extent that significantly outpaced customer demand. The timeline makes sense. 2022 is when the world started opening up more broadly and people were eager to get out of their homes. Hasbro announced in 2023 in a preview of its 2022 financial report that revenue was down due to poor sales in the toy market. To mitigate that loss, it laid off 15% of its staff, around 1,000 people. Despite that, Hasbro allegedly continued to tell investors that it didn't have an inventory problem. In October 2023, an investor asked about Hasbro's stock, to which Hasbro Chief Operating Officer Gina Getter said, Hasbro is spending $50 million to move and market inventory as an obsolescence cost, which is corporate speak for outdated, devalued inventory. Because of all this, especially the October 2023 financial disclosure, stock price declined and investors lost money. The lawsuit alleges to the tune of a loss of $831 million in shareholder value. The stock value Hasbro previously had, according to the lawsuit's claims, was due to inflated prices due to the lack of disclosure. The lawsuit states that Hasbro stock is owned by hundreds or thousands of investors who would be impacted. The law firm is asking the court for damages due to the alleged violation of the Exchanges and Security Act, which requires publicly traded companies to be honest and transparent to shareholders. In its most recent earnings report, filed October 2024, Hasbro reported a 15% decline in revenue. Its inventory, according to the report, was down 39% over last year's third quarter. Hasbro expects the company to be down 14% overall in 2024. I don't think Hasbro can walk away from this one. Now, let's talk about the inventory buildup. It's not every line, but it is the major ones. No one can sue Hasbro over G.I. Joe because that's their property. 
Now let's start with Star Wars, because that's what started all of this nightmare. Allow me to take you back to 2017, when I started noticing the Star Wars stuff wasn't selling. I would peruse Toys R Us fairly regularly to see what was new, or find something I was looking for. More times than not, I'd find something worth getting, but never from Star Wars. Now, fast forward a few years through the sequel trilogy, because you heard that story before, and on to Disney+. Plus. The Mandalorian was a quick shot of adrenaline for Star Wars sales. New characters that people liked, and the demand was there. Notice the word was. While The Mandalorian was a hit, that interest would wane in following seasons. During the initial hype of the show, there wasn't much merchandise available. Eventually, Hasbro would flood the market with Baby Yoda, The Mandalorian, and more, but in numbers that would never meet the man. These days, I still see stacks of Baby Yoda dolls just sitting there. The cute factor wore off. Everyone that wanted one had two, and yet there were dozens per store just clogging the shelves. Hasbro would overproduce other Mandalorian figures too. Even the Mandalorian himself would show up at Ollie's. As the Disney Plus shows got worse, so did the merchandise situation. Merchandise from the Book of Boba Fett failed and is still at Ollie's. Obi-Wan is somehow worse. This is where the lawsuit actually begins in terms of timeline. In our most recent videos, you can count dozens of the same unpopular character just sitting there, collecting dust. Hell, if those numbers aren't enough, you can even get Reva in a different scale to add more. I found a full case of her last time. They're just sitting there, and they've been there for a long time. Years for some of this stuff, and there's never been demand. Now we know why. Ahsoka, which ended just a year ago, is readily available at Ollie's. Look at how many of these damn dolls they have. And this is at every one of their stores. They haven't stopped this overproduction, and they can't claim the pandemic anymore. The most recent and egregious Star Wars line is the Young Jedi Adventures. It's a line for kids, but the toys are deep at Ollie's. It, too, began in 2023, well after the holiday season of 2022, and it also sits there. There's no way there's this much demand. If there was, it would have sold at regular retail. These clearance stores are full of what can't sell at retail. Ollie's and the rest buy the overstock for pennies on the dollar and sell them for more than 50% cheaper than mainline retailers. There's no denying that Star Wars is one of the most overproduced brands from Hasbro. Collectors are now conditioned to wait for Ollie's because if it's not one of the main characters from the original trilogy, it's at Ollie's for sure. These Star Wars toys have remained untouched for years, and that's not an exaggeration, and they will for many more to come. That is until Ollie sells them by weight and the toys are destroyed and sold for the raw material. The Star Wars problem goes deeper than Ollie's. Other retailers are getting rid of Star Wars toys like the Plague because Star Wars is full of crappy characters, which is an other nonsense. Thanks, Disney. But again, that's a story for another time. Since we're talking about Disney, Disney also has another major property under their belts, Marvel. I'll spare you a history lesson on Marvel because it would take all day and mostly be on the comic books, but Marvel toys are in the same boat as Star Wars toys, and that's because they too are made by Hasbro. Again, see all of our videos for proof of this. Shang-Chi has been at Ollie's for nearly two years. There's so many of them at every store, and they're not moving. It's so bad that a discount store has discounted them to $1.99, and still, no one's biting. Same with Wakanda Forever. Hasbro bet the farm on that movie. The much-beloved Shuri Copter comes for Black Panther 2. Hell, the entire line of Black Panther 2 is still at Ollie's as we speak. I guarantee you walk in and you can find them all. You can even find the King of Wakanda himself at these stores. He's the only mainline hero in the Marvel Legends line that is available for this cheap. Then, there's the Eternals. The 2021 film has been a staple at Ollie's for years as well. There's this disc launcher toy that has literally never sold at the stores that I film. They just sit there, eternally. The figures themselves are readily available too. You can't go into one of those stores and not find the entire wave. It's impossible. Shang-Chi and the Eternals overproductions predate the lawsuit, so this problem goes beyond the 2022 holiday season. Hasbro has been doing this for years, and now they're finally getting sued for it. Beyond the MCU blunders, you can find comic book figures, Disney Plus figures, roleplay items, and more for over 50% off their regular price. The toys that Hasbro charged $60 for last year are at Ollie's for as low as $20. This overproduction of toys has killed collectors paying full price for Marvel 2, with many stating, I'll wait for Ollie's. Something else Hasbro does is overproduce multiple different lines that feature the same character. There's the Marvel Legends version, the 5-inch version with less articulation, and the new 4-inch scale, which is just starting to pop up at clearance not too long after it showed up at mainline retailers late last year. 
Hasbro has overdone it, and now it's biting them on the backside. There's so much of this stuff you can still walk into a Target, find a figure for full price, go across the street to Ollie's, and find it for 50% off. Hasbro has devalued their own toys and these Disney brands. This lawsuit is fascinating because it finally answers all the questions I've had. How in the world can Star Wars sell this bad? How is Marvel this hated? It turns out the real culprit is Hasbro, and now investors are suing. I can't deny that I find this hilarious. I also feel a bit validated, hell, even more than a bit, okay? I've been documenting this for literally years, and now I find the answers. I am a diehard collector, but I find myself leaving behind Hasbro merchandise because I'm only willing to pay Ollie's prices for it. I see these toys get announced and I think, why rush out and pre-order or pay $25 a figure plus shipping? In one year, it will be $10 and I can get two for less than the price of one. That's just economics. I know I'm not the only one. A lot of my collecting friends, both in person and online, feel the same way. Of course, not everything will go to Ollie's. Don't expect the Secret Wars Wave or X-Men 97 to show up there. The latter sold out because there's real demand for 90s nostalgia, and the former pulls at the heartstrings of 80s kids. But if you need anything from the upcoming Ironheart movie, and let's be honest, you don't, because if you do, go to Ollie's right now. She's already there. I foresee Captain America brand new world toys being a staple at Ollie's for a short time, too. Falcon Cap will join the ranks of the Eternals, Shang-Chi, and all of the Wakanda Forever on store shelves toys. The future isn't too bright for Hasbro, but it is funny, and I'll be here to document it all. Just an addendum. Some are saying that this is just the gaming division of Hasbro, but when I walk into Ollie's, I see a lot of Hasbro-made games, and they too are overproduced to high heaven. They're in the videos, just go and check them out. But this whole situation is quite insane. So folks, what do you think about this lawsuit? What do you think about this situation? And what do you think about the toys that never sell? Of course, you can go to our archive and you can watch, God, 100 videos of this shit that never moves. And I don't go into the same store every week. This is weeks apart, different stores around the Midwest, the South, you name it. If there's an Ollie's, I'm going there. And guess what? It's the same story everywhere. I went down South. There it was. I went up north. There it was. It's like a Dr. Seuss book, right? The places you go, the things you see, the toys that don't sell, it doesn't matter. Here it is at Ollie's. So, folks, thank you for watching. I'll go to Ollie's in just a couple days and film what's still there. Everything. Like last time I went, there were so many Ahsoka dolls, I couldn't see the top of it. And again, I'm a tall dude. I can see over most people's heads. The Star Wars toys, I gotta get on my tippy toes, get the camera up. I show you the flyover. I show you all of this stuff. And this whole video has just been filled with footage of these toys. So if there's a lawsuit and they need documentation, you call me, Jeff Hicks of World Class Bullshitters, and I will show up as a witness. You can subpoena me. I'll go there. I'll show you the footage. Hell, I'll even narrate it for you live and in person. All joking aside, though, folks, this is hilarious, and I've been wanting to say this the whole time. I told you so. So, folks, if you feel validated like I do, hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe for more WCBS content, and do these few things. Be smart, be safe, be cool, but always be excellent to each other. And remember, the wise men say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for Hasbro merchandise.